<laughs> yeah. You know what I'm doing? I'm dancing on a grave right now. <laughs> Here's your TikTok challenge, kids. The Larry Wilmore grave dance, kind of like the cha-cha slide. I'll call it the ha-ha slide. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> uh, now look, the results haven't been finalized. So I'm not in full-blown celebration yet. I know it looks like it. You know what it is? It's more like the sense of accomplishment you feel after you've chased a family of angry skunks out of the house. You know, get out of here, skunks. Get out. Go. Shoot. Whew. Man, got a lot of cleanup to do. Open a window. Smells like democracy died in here. Whew. Whew. You know, the moment I knew who had won the election was 7 p.m. Thursday night, when Trump lumbered up to a podium like a whipped but still rabid dog and shared his... Mm, I guess I'll call them thoughts. People are walking in there. They have no idea. They're just taking the numbers. They're writing down things, the workers, and doing a lot of bad things. But we think there'll be a lot of litigation because we can't have an election stolen like, by, like this. Hmm. Lots to unpack there. Let me see if I can interpret that for you. I lost. I lost. I'm a loser. I thought I'd be tired from winning, but I'm exhausted from losing. COVID is, a, COVID is a walk in the park compared to losing. <sighs> um, Mr. President, do you have any evidence of this election being stolen? They're finding ballots all of a sudden. Oh, we have some mail-in ballots. It's amazing how those mail-in ballots are so one-sided. It's not amazing. You told your people not to vote by mail, genius. Then Republicans blocked states from counting ballots till election day. You did that. This could have been over on Wednesday. I mean, you still would have lost, and I would have started laughing earlier. <laughs> the final batch did not arrive until four in the morning, and uh, even though the polls closed at eight o'clock, so they brought it in, and the batches came in, and nobody knew where they came from. Yeah, those results moved on you like a batch. Let me explain something. Registered voters fill out ballots. The ballots are then counted. There's no batches that are appearing out of thin air. Oh, look, there's a batch. There's a batch. There's another batch. Batchity, batch, batch. Oh, God. I can't wait for your stupid, ignorant ass to be gone. Oh, man. If you want someone to blame for this, look in a mirror. For example, Republicans should have won Arizona easily. Even the soil is red there, okay? This is, I'll tell you what this is. This is a classic Greek tragedy, you know, where the disaster is always, always avoidable. Oedipus, you have one job. Listen to me, Oedipus, listen. This is all you have to do. Don't fuck your mother. All right? That's it. It'll be a tragedy if you do. And we know what happened next. Trump's fatal flaw was his obsession with John McCain. His aides begged him to just stop attacking Arizona's beloved war hero senator for five goddamn seconds. But nope, couldn't do it. In fact, he insulted him in batches. Trump dug that hole himself. Look at that. He's so determined about it. I'll bury myself like no one's ever been buried. Well done, sir. It's really unbelievable how much the COVID king is whining and playing the victim. What happened to young man? You had so much energy. Young man, there's no need to feel down. Uh, gonna have to disagree with you. There is a need to feel down. You lost. But here's the good news. Now you have plenty of time to go to the YMCA. You can hang out with all the boys. Instead of unleashing all your washed up old cronies like a bunch of embittered bats to poop your conspiracy nonsense all over TV. The machine in Detroit is corrupt and they're trying to steal the presidency. We should lock up the people who are breaking the law. You stop somebody from being an observer, you just broke federal law. Shut up. You don't have to kiss Trump's ass anymore. He lost. We should lock up the people who are breaking the law. You know, to be clear, here's who the self-proclaimed party of the working man wants to lock up. Ordinary Americans who care so much about democracy, they put their lives on the hold during a pandemic to sit there counting our votes late into the night, while self-appointed MAGA poll watchers shadow them like a suspicious retail clerk. Keep an eye on those urban poll workers. You know how they like to shoplift elections. Check their bags. Check her hair. God. Ugh. Ugh. Joking aside, the illegitimate president who won by four million votes, he's gonna have a tough time, and we all are. 
So if I may, I just want to leave you with this one thought. Kamala going to be vice president. Kamala going to be vice president. I'm dancing with the vice president. Dancing with the vice president. I can't pronounce her name as a cop. Just call her vice president.